And a scrum will almost certainly see the Dragons take the shot. Well, There's a hand. There's a hand, all right. But he got away with it. Now, as Ray points out, you would think that Jamie Soward would just go in behind the scrum. A little bit to the left. He goes straight away still, it looks like it. Well, Greg Bird did the win one in Golden Point against the Raiders earlier this year, and he made it look easy. And here it is with Pryor. And Pryor, 15 metres out. Hornby to the middle of the ground for Merrin. So, seeing them to Dean Young, and that... He's the end of three. Where is he? He's right in front of the uprights. Here it comes. No, he's had to pass. Parramatta got up on him pretty quickly. Boyd across. Tongueve back. And Tongueve is taken down on the 20-metre line. Still, they're on the fourth tackle. It's come away for Bosden. And he'll play the ball. Now where is he? He's 32 metres out in the middle of the ground. Here he is. Oh, there goes the shot. Parramatta. And it's a Parramatta penalty against the man playing the ball, is it? Not straight. He has been facing touchline instead of straight ahead. Well, that's right. why I don't understand why they didn't take the field goal from the scrum win. We'll see the yeah, advantage. good call. <laughs> that was a good call. The advantage in that department, Peter, is even more exemplified under the rules this year of binding. You, you scrum, it, it has to stay bound, otherwise you get a differential penalty again on top of it. Well, you're sort of having more distance between yeah. yourself and the defence than you're going to have at any other time in the next set. But it's a very good thing to do these days because the second rowers in the lock have got to stay bound. So they can't charge you down. And the other fellows have got to be five metres behind the last line of forwards' feet. Well, so what's wrong with taking the drop goal from the scrum? Having a look at the replay there, Jack Boston, he, he was he was east-west, not north-south. So he was looking into the sun. Here's Morgan with the ball. On the 40-metre line. And it's, uh, it's a crazy game of football now. It's gone back to Shackleton, and Shackleton has taken down. No matter, they've got to get this ball... A bit closer than this, oh, not another one, no, they've passed it, and Hayne juggles it, the ball goes to ground, it went backwards, it's picked up here by Lasalo. he drops it back to knock Burke, on, knock on. and there's a knock on, knock on Hayne, so the Dragons will come up with the ball on a turnover, knock on against Hayne, hit their bloke and then went backwards, you're saying no way. Oh, well, I suppose it might be tit for tatter. Here's a chance for Nightingale. <laughs> Moy Moy went up out of the line like a missile. Gaznia now, a run from Dummy Half, and again, they try to set Jamie Soward up. We've got 35 seconds to go. In regular time, Green will play the ball. Soward is waving his arms around like a traffic cop. It's gone out to Merrin now. And so we look at the clock, and there's 20 seconds remaining. And here, here is the go. shot. Seen. The ball was played correctly. It's been a charge down from Parramatta, and it's come back down. It's the pain it was. Boyd is with the ball now. Boyd runs a circle, and it's the zero tackle. He gets the ball away. It's gone back to Nightingale, and he's put down the end of regular time. Thomas! The end of regular time. We're going into only the second Golden Point game of the year. Titans Raiders in round four. Well, Jared Hayne here did a great job to charge that down. And then after he's reclaimed it, he tries to offload, does he? <laughs> so here's the start of extra time. First team to score points. Take it out. Round 13. Dragons and Eels. Green it is with the ball. And here's Merrin with the ball. And what Parramatta have to do is do very much a Dragons on them. 
in defence. They've got to really attack them with their defence. Yeah, they've also got to make sure right, they don't give away a penalty. They've only given away one <laughs> the entire 80. Frey. As the Dragons come away 35 metres off their own line. On the fourth tackle. So it would seem pretty certain that Soward in the team with that boot of his. They're going to put this down into a corner. And he's going to kick from just inside the 40-metre line. Not worried about 40-20s, but reefing it as far as he could. Hain didn't have really much time to make a decision there. He picked it up and brought it back. So they're 12 metres back into the field of play. Jared plays the ball. It comes away from Acton and goes across to Burke. And Luke, not any gaining ground really, not substantial. Second tackle gone, third tackle gone, and they're at the 20 metre line. Dragons by comparison were out near the 40 metre line. Keating will play the ball on the 30 now. Four tackles gone for the Eels. And why Moi Moi is shaping to pass rather than run. And he's just inside the 40. Hayne should be away to the right. He is. And here's the kick from Jared. Doesn't go for length. I, I think the, the fact is he had to kick urgently. The bounce is favourable. It came down to Lasalo. He flops it away to Morgan. Morgan gets it to Robson. Robson gets it away and Atkins gets a kick on it. That's fortuitous. It's gone down to the 10 metre line. Boyd picks it up, says to Nightingale, this is your ball. And Nightingale takes it outside the 20 metre line. Jason to play. 25 metres out from his line. And his Tom DeVay got all. Tom DeVay found a blade of grass that tripped him. He'll play at 30 metres out from his line. Back to scene. Now to Bo Scott. And Moy Moy and Keating are there. Together with Horror. But they're at the 40 metre line again on the third tackle. And here's Green with the ball. And he's up towards halfway. Fourth tackle there. So they're going to finish up. Giving it to Parramatta where they want to give it to them. Very much deep in Parramatta's territory. The game was excellent work from Jamie Sowd directing his players to where he wants them to go. So that on this play, he's exactly where he needs to be. Look at that kick compared to what we saw from Jarrett Hayne at the end of their set. They were all over the place. Jamie Sowd played those four or five plays for his team there, just for that result. So the restart for Parramatta, if I can call it that, identical to the one we saw on their previous set. Jared Hayne bringing the ball out of his own end goal off the Jamie Sowell kick. And as Peter pointed out, he orchestrated the whole set to suit himself. And then he put the icing on. His manner with a run that is good. It's 38 metres out from his line, four gone for Parramatta. A cross now for Robson, then Moy Moy, now Hayne. He floats a torpedo out, finds a target in Burt, and Burt is taken down. Almost on the halfway line. Players on the western side of the ground. It's gone to Hayne, his kick. He's gone for another drop goal. My goodness, he has got some length about it. That had the length. It did have the length. You're quite right. I didn't imagine he had that sort of kick in him, but there it is. It's on its way. Look at the length. Look at the height. It was satisfactory had it have had the line. And there's the angle. How far out was that, Stella? 55. I don't know. I just thought they kicked the lift. I think it was about 55. That prior had some, some tough metres in close to the play. The ball nearly halfway through the first set. Jasmine, you know. Just on the side of halfway. Coming up towards five minutes gone and it's the time. Young. Now for Hornby. Hornby behind Perry. Boyd is with the ball. 35 out. Oh, this will be the last play in the, the first. Gonna have a go, Howard. Here is Hornby taking the shot. And it has not got the height nor the direction. And the ball goes dead. So the people will sound and they will turn them around for the second five minute session. Four tackles made by Nathan Heinmark. 64. 
by the captain. As it goes to Tim Manor, and Manor is able to make valuable meters. And I emphasize valuable in view of the fact they're playing against this Dragons team, and Keating got a ball off to Maguire. Great tackle, Soward. It was, and here is Hayne taken by Soward. Referee says it was okay. And played by Hayne, you might call it a wasted play. Robson for Moimoy. Moimoy running it at prime. 40 metres away from the line. They have got another shot for Burt to take this time. It hasn't got the, the length. And it's taken in the goal mouth by Boyd. And Boyd comes running back and he'll reach the 20 metre line on tackle one. Tackle made by Ben Smith. Played to Young and now Tom Gilbert. Boston burrows through the forward to the 30 metre line. Penny Tongue who got a try for the Dragons at the 47th minute. And that was basically the order, all there was to the second half of, as far as points are concerned, as far as tries are concerned. Played by Scott, now it's with Hunt. Ankle tapping tackle by Loco. They're setting it up though. Here's the last. They've gone to him. There's Soward. And it's not a good kick. It's an awful kick by his standards. It's down to Burt. Knocks it back the first time. Brings it out to the 10. Tries to cut through. It's actually not a bad result if you're kicking for field position. Davis out is Jared Hayne. Second tackle outside his own 20. Jordan Atkins with only half, and Dan Hunt moves quickly out of market to make the tackle. Now it's with Lasalo, and Lasalo is tackled inside the 40 meter line. Fourth tackle gone against the Eels. We're in the second session of extra time, and Manor it is who plays the ball for the kick of Robson. He aims it down towards the, the goal line area, and here's away coming up his own line. Where's the chase? Where's the chase? Hamash leading the chase, but he's still got it out to the 20. Admittedly, they're tired as we come pretty close to the 90th minute of the game. Here is Fien, taken by Moimoy. He's racked up 38 tackles in the game. Fien away for Cray. And 38 tackles for Fui Fui Moimoy is, is about 60 odd for Nathan Hindmarsh. And here's Hunt putting himself into the defence line. Strong to the halfway line. 14 all. 88 minutes of the game gone. Hornby away. Boyd on. Tom DeVay. Tom DeVay. Morgan's got him. Oh, tackle. Put him into touch with a good shot. Good shot. And the, the blue and gold people. It's their turn to rejoice. Well, the crowd loving this, and they've only got another minute and a half of it. As Ryan Morgan putting his body on the line there. Nice little play by the Dragons to find some space down the left-hand side. Nerves. Nerves, son. And Parramatta, 70 metres now to get in a position to win this. It may be a, a try that the opposition aren't expecting, or a full goal to win it. So here we go. Will the Dragons get another use of the football? Highly problematical. Robson for Hayne. Hayne for Smith, and Smith taken by Cray. Up near the halfway line, third tackle gone. That's the way. Way. That's the way. To the 40 metre line. Dragons in. Four tackles gone. They come now to Robson, then to Hayne, then away to Ben Smith, and he's on the 30-metre line. So five tackles gone, and a matter of seconds remaining. Over to the middle, Luke Burt. He puts a kick in, but it's gone skewing away down towards the dead ball line. And it will come out to the 20-metre line for the restart. Possibly. What an entertaining game this has been. <laughs> is this? This. That's it. Man, just about everything. Well, they've done it. They've almost done a Cronulla on the defending premiers. Almost done a Cronulla. 
They've pulled out of this with a point. Team number 12, the